Hey y'all, Ivory Sky here, and I wanted to answer a question. Several of y'all have me messaged me on facebook.com forward slash Irix Sky, youtube.com forward slash Irix Sky, where you're watching this. And it's like, hey man, would you buy the Schwinn IC4 again? And without a doubt, man. And just want to talk to you about this. I've gotten now probably a little bit over 700 miles on this. Everything is holding up super well. Um, haven't had any issues with with looseness on the seat post or the seat or the handle. Now, the handlebars, they, see, they're tight. But if you don't tighten them down, the handlebars can have a little bit of, I wouldn't call it a wiggle, and it's not a shake. Uh, but they do have just a slight amount of movement to them. But, I mean, it's, it's hardly even noticeable. And, like, right now, like I said, I've locked them down, so there's next to none. Um, it's remained whisper quiet. Obviously, you've got magnetic resistance, which does not use friction pads, so you don't have the heat, you don't have the noise, you don't have the friction pads to re replace periodically, and you don't have the inconsistent resistance. That's something you get with, with friction pads. You know, as they wear, they may wear unevenly. So, you know, what was once a lesser resist or greater resistance now may be a lesser resistance because they've worn off a little bit. So, you know, you don't have that with magnetic resistance. That's one of the reasons I love this thing. It's quiet, it's smooth, it's consistent. Again, the pedals, awesome. You know, if you're using shoes like I use, and by the way, expand this video's description and then click the link there. You can find the mat like I use, obviously the Schwinn IC4, the shoes like I use, the smart TV like I use, and even the wireless subwoofer and soundbar like I use. I mean, I've created an experience with this in my home gym that's better than being at the gym. So, you know, I've enjoyed this. Now I've, again, the shoes I use don't have the cleats. That's what I prefer, but they're flat. I keep these in here. I use these exclusively for this bike. They never leave this pad. They stay in here. I don't walk with them in the house or outside. Don't want to mess them up. Don't want to wear them out. They serve a purpose. They're a tool to enable my foot to be the most comfortable in these toe cages. So when I put those shoes on, these toe cages are awesome. They they work great. Now, if you wanna use the clipless, you can. Again, that's personal preference. I don't because I had a bad wreck. I broke every bone in my right hand, broke my chin, went to, uh, went to Cancun, Mexico on a trip that I'd already planned and uh, I had my had my arm, my right arm wrapped in a garbage bag and I'd get in the pool and drink beer um because you know I I couldn't I couldn't get it wet because I had a cast on. But man, I met I met this girl from Sweden, man. But uh yeah, so I don't I don't uh I don't ride clipless anymore. And that was back in nineteen ninety nine when that happened. So I don't ride clipless. I prefer the toe cages. These pedals are great for that, you know. But if you ride clipless, they're great for that as well. Water bottle cages, plenty big. You can put a very nice size water bottle in there. You got these weights, especially with the Peloton app. Uh, there's a lot of workouts where they'll where they'll ask you to use weights. That's just a great way to get even better workout. You got the computer built in. It'll show time, calories, your speed, your distance. Your resistance level, see this is a resistance level knob. You can turn it up, turn it down, and your pulse if you use the included uh, heart rate monitor. I just use my Apple Watch with the Peloton app or the Zwift app, and that's how I prefer to do it. So this uh, this bike's incredible. I mean, it's you can use it by itself. If you don't want to pair it with an app, you can use it uh, you know, with your smartphone or your tablet, if you do want to pair an app. You can even get fancier with it if you really want to and put it in front of a smart TV like I do and use your smartphone or your or your iPad to, to uh, airplay that to your big TV. And then you add a subwoofer and a sound bar like I use. Again, all of this is linked within this video's description. You feel like you're in the gym, man. I mean, it's, it's good. And now, I'm still fat, but, you know, I see, look, I mean... I'm still fat, but I'm not as fat. So, you know, it works. The seat's comfortable. 
Got that little cut out right there. And, and again, this, even if you're in an apartment, because this is magnetic resistance, it's so quiet. I would get the mat like I use just to have it because, number one, it'll better protect your floors from, you know, when this thing's moving, you know, inevitably there's, there's a slight amount of motion. And then number two, when you're working out on this, you're going to be dripping a lot of sweat. So it's good to have it dripping on the mat versus your floor, you know, whether it's carpeted or, or fake hardwood or real hardwood, you know. So, yeah, would I buy the IC4 again without hesitation? Do I have any regrets? No. I would have had regrets had I bought uh, something else, especially the, the Peloton, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But it's more expensive. And then also, at least currently, if you use the Peloton branded bike with the Peloton integrated screen, you know, you're, at least currently, it's more per month with the Peloton branded bike than if you get like the Schwinn IC4 and use the Peloton app. And something else worth mentioning, and I don't have it at the time of, uh, of filming this, but granted, I'll be filming a ton of videos, and that's the new Apple Fitness Plus app. So, it, you know, on paper, Apple Fitness Plus looks like it may be as good, if not better, than the Peloton app. And, you know, again, as soon as it comes out, I'll be getting it and I'll be reviewing Apple Fitness Plus with IC4 because I want to see how that works. Since it's not made by Peloton, I'm, I'm kind of expecting it to be more uh, bicycle agnostic, meaning that Apple Fitness Plus is probably going to pair perfectly with the IC4. The Peloton app does too, but... If you use the Peloton app with the IC4, when the Peloton trainer in your, you know, your virtual cycling workouts, when they're telling you to change resistance, the IC4 resistance, which is indicated here on your display as you turn it, and the Peloton bike, you know, the Peloton branded bike experience, or Peloton branded bike resistance, rather, is not a one-for-one -one match. So... I, I went to Google and I did uh, Peloton bike to Schwinn IC4 bike resistance conversion. I found a lot of charts and I just memorized those numbers. So when the when the Peloton instructor says, you know, kick it to 25 resistance, I know where I need to go with the IC4. So that's that's not an issue at all. The price point of the Schwinn IC4. Yeah, I mean, it's, and you can find it linked within this video's description. It's kind of expensive, but when you think about it, especially if you're not even going to use an app with it, if you're just using the bike by itself with the integrated computer, you don't have to have a subscription. It's only when you get the apps that you, that you do. And I mean, you don't, the only thing an app's going to do is provide virtual motivation. You know, you can track your virtual miles traveled, um, you can, you know, have bragging rights with competing with others and that sort of stuff. So it's whatever motivates you. I mean, if you're perfectly fine with just putting your Schwinn IC4 in front of a TV and watching a TV show or a YouTube video, or maybe you just want to put your Schwinn IC4 in a corner and put your iPad or your smartphone right there and watch a YouTube video or a TV show from your tablet or your smartphone, you can do that. Or maybe you want to completely disconnect, put your phone in another room, and it's just you and the bike without a TV or anything, you can do that. I mean, it's it's up to you, you know, up to you, the rider. I mean, you can do whatever you choose to do. Whatever motivates you, whatever helps you to burn this gut. I've gotten fat, and I've gotten fat because of the pandemic. But it's this tool, this Schwinn IC4, that has enabled me to become less fat. And I still eat whatever I want, man. I mean, I do, I'll do uh, ice cream like once a week, um, I'll do fried chicken a few times a week. I'll do, uh, you know, a, a soda a few days a week. Normally I just drink water and unsweet tea. Um, but you know, some days I'll do a soda. I mean, you know, you, the beauty of this bike is that you can get a really intense workout. I mean, I work out with this. That's why I got that old beach towel over there. Cause I got, um, you know, I just sweat all over the place and then I'm, wipe it up and then I mop this floor, you know, every few days. So, I mean, it's, 
it's an intense workout. Would I buy the Schwinn IC4 again? Without a doubt. Would I buy something else? No. There's nothing, at least on the market today, that I would buy in, you know, ahead of the IC4. I think the IC4 is the perfect indoor exercise bike, you know, for app-enabled experience. Um, you know, again, magnetic resistance. If you compare it with an app, you can use it by itself with the integrated computer. Whatever works best for you. So tell me what you think within the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel, ring that bell, and check out all of my Schwinn IC4 videos. And any Schwinn IC4 questions that you have, please ask, and I'll try to post a video response. I know if you're like me, you were researching bikes thoroughly before you took the plunge. You know, you, if you're like me, you probably looked down at your belly and you said, man, I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat, man. And you had to do something about it, or you realized that you should do something about it. You know, health is important. You know, you only live once. So if you don't take care of yourself, that's not a good thing. So, um, you know, any, any, any questions that I may be able to answer, ask away because, you know, I want to, uh, I want to provide as much value as I can. And, and I'm enjoying this. I'm going to continue to post videos as I continue to continue my personal weight loss journey. And I'm excited to test the uh, Apple Fitness Plus app as soon as it releases. So stay tuned, subscribe, ring that bell icon, be notified whenever, when I post other videos. And seriously, ask all the questions you have. I mean, don't be shy. I'm encouraging you to ask those questions here. So thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. And again, you can find the shoes like I use, the mat, and then also the IC4, smart TV soundbar, wireless subwoofer, expand this video's description, and then click the link there and you can find where to order it all online. Y'all have a good day.